Miguel and I are here at the Apple iPhone event at Yerba Buena Center in San Francisco, and Miguel, I think that no matter what topic we discuss today, everything about this event was evolutionary rather than revolutionary. In other words, they made their existing products better. They introduced absolutely nothing new. They didn't touch on Macs. They didn't touch on iPads. And so the question, I think, is, is that okay? I think the answer is a resounding yes. It's absolutely okay. Yeah, I agree. I think the, the old iPhone was starting to look a little tired with all the innovation that the Samsungs and the other brands have uh, come up with. And they made the new iPhone a little bit bigger, bigger screen, faster, thinner, lots of software updates, et cetera, et cetera. It all adds up to a pretty significant, you know, the package overall is a pretty significant leap. And, you know, you say the, the last iPhone, the iPhone 4S, was looking tired, but, of course, it was still selling robustly, and there's every reason mm -hmm. to believe that the new one will sell robustly, and not just in the United States, but around the world, which is something that they highlighted a lot. Yeah, I think that's uh, been a theme of our conversations after all these events. Uh, no matter what these guys do, it seems like these products have so much momentum that they need to do very little to keep them going. And in here, I think they did a little more than very little. They did, you know, a significant upgrade. Yeah. So why don't we nitpick anyway? One thing that stands out to me was Scott Forstall, the head of mobile software, talked a little bit about Siri. Uh, but the way he talked about it was that we've improved the verticals on it, sports, restaurants, rather than saying, we've heard your complaints that Siri doesn't work very well and we've improved the, the, the performance. He didn't say that. That, that's true. I mean, to me, frankly, it's amazing that Siri works at all. Yeah, because uh, it's, it's amazing it's technology. It's such amazing technology, and I think the complaints will continue. Um, another thing that you know was not in there at all is any uh, notion of an NFC chip, which mm. some people think is necessary for mobile payments. I don't think this is a big deal. Apple is doing Passbook. Uh, they have other ways to get uh, payments in there without NFC. So, so the question is, you know, what, what what didn't we see and what's next? There's often a Mac event in uh, in October. Apple didn't say anything about that. There were rumors there'd be a smaller form factor yeah. iPad. That did not happen. Uh, Apple usually introduces iPads in March. So if they had one for Christmas, we probably would have seen it today. What do you think? Um, I, you know, the rumors of the iPad uh, are still out there. It's possible that they'll do something before the, the holidays. Uh, the Macs, you mentioned, uh, we weren't expecting anything new. They introduced a brand new Mac laptop just a few months ago. Uh, I suspect the, uh, the iMacs are going to get refreshed, but those events tend to be not as big of a deal. And of course, the, uh, the latest iteration of the rumor mill has suggested over the last few weeks that Apple's not close to introducing a television product of some kind. We didn't get a television product of some kind today. We have no idea uh, really when we will. We got no indication of that. No reason to believe there's anything imminent. Yeah, and I think that's consistent a little bit with what Kim Cook has said publicly. Uh, you know, we're still pulling string on television. It's very important, but until we get something that we want to use that's as you know, good enough that we want to have it in our homes, we're not going to uh, do something major. And I think that's where they're at right now.